Hey guys, Kate Spring here, and I'm here to address something that is a real letdown for women in their relationships. That is a lack of sexual tension. Sometimes, healthy tension can be one of those things missing in a relationship. And it's like an on and off switch. But most of the time, it requires work. Building sexual tension is like the growing hunger that makes a three course meal so enjoyable. And the build up to the main meal is the appetizer. And I'm gonna share with you four ways to savor the entire meal. Just a reminder, make sure if you have any questions that you leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, if you have any suggestions for other men about ways to build sexual tension with women, please leave them in the comments below as well. Okay, women need a gradual build up. They need to be teased. The art of teasing is giving a little and then taking it away, always leaving them wanting more. It has been scientifically proven that women and men treat sex differently and the way we get turned on varies in time. So remember, women need a little extra time in the tension department. We too want to want it. And I guarantee once you try these tactics, you won't go back. One of the most important ways to build tension with a woman is by having a connection with her mind. If it's not an undeniable sexual chemistry at first, then no fear, because we can help create it with these few steps. By connecting with a woman on an intellectual level, as well as an emotional level, we will make her feel good about you, which is our goal. This may seem pretty basic to you, but women are in their heads a lot of the time, and by penetrating her thoughts and being thoughtful, you can really begin to have an effect. Aside from the physical contact we have with people, our most important connection with others is an emotional and an intellectual one. We can achieve this through sharing some witty jokes or talking about topics that you're passionate about. It shows you depth and a mind to go along with your body. Dirty jokes do work too, in some capacity. Don't get me wrong, I love a good crude joke. But being too jokey can take away from the emotional connection we are trying to create with someone. We connect with the mind, so start there. Humor and compassion fall under this category and are a surefire way to start building that connection that leads to attraction and then tension. You basically want to show your best side and this is one of the first steps to building that tension. But first, you have to build that connection. On to our second way to create sexual tension. Absence makes the heart grow fonder and texting can enhance that tension with a few flirty texts and leaving off with an I can't wait to see you and a cheeky emoji. Having a strong text game is the key to creating sexual tension with your woman of interest. Texting allows you to blush and squawk and squeal like no one's watching and it allows you to have whatever reaction you naturally feel. The text is a very specific one to learn if you don't already practice savvy texting. Complimenting someone over text message is a good place to begin. And when you sign off, leave her a little I'm excited to see you. These few things go a long way in the relationship build up. After all, it's all about textual satisfaction. To learn more about building attraction and sexual tension with your girl, head over to katespring.com slash free and get a hold of my ebook, The Attraction Handbook, How to Get Any Girl You Want. That's katespring.com slash free and I'll be sure to leave the link in the comments below. The third way to create tension is through flirting. Flirting requires some degree of comfort with your sexuality because if you're not, then your flirting may come off as strange and awkward. Guilt surrounding sex is one of the more, most detrimental things that has happened to our culture. Men and women are sexual beings and flirting is fun, so let go of whatever guilt you have pent up from your Sunday school days and explore. Tension is the feeling of being pulled towards something, but also experiencing resistance. It occurs when you and your girl interact and have a sexual desire to be with each other, but it's postponed or delayed or has yet to happen. Tension is the thing that starts in the mind and spreads through the body. Now, if you've already done the horizontal mambo, let's face it, one night stands happen, these tips will work for you because the imagination already has a scene to recall. And the goal of flirting is to create a sexual tension. Women enjoy sex, so whatever you thought about women not liking sex as much as men is untrue. And flirting makes us feel good. And when we feel good, we want to continue feeling this way. And nothing feels better than the butterflies you get when you're being chased and when we anticipate sexual intimacy. Trust me, I know. Before we get too far, please show me some love by clicking that red button below that says subscribe and you can keep up to date with more videos that will help you become the man that women want and can't get enough of. The fourth but equally as important way to build sexual tension is by being physically affectionate. I think physical affection is one of the best things about relationships, especially at first. Women respond to a welcome touch and it makes them feel good. This kind of touch can include just running your fingers gently along her shoulder, arms, thigh, really anywhere. Tickling, hand holding, and tiny kisses that linger also go a long way. This kind of gentle physical contact really adds to the growing desire between men and women. With physical affection, not only are we trying to build up attraction in the mind, but we're also trying to build it up in the body. Remember to enjoy the tension because that's the most exciting part about dating and getting to know someone. 
Tension is all about restrictions, and I think that's why teenagers have so much sexual pent-up angst, because instead of having to create restrictions on themselves, they have them imposed by their parents and schools, who tell them what it is and isn't appropriate. As adults, we have to re-employ these strategies of restraint. Otherwise, we'll find ourselves in a slew of unfulfilling one-night stands. All right, YouTube, that's all I have for you today. If you have any other ways to build sexual tension with a woman, please comment below, because I would love to hear your success stories. I'm Kate Spring, and thanks for watching.